Maybe you've heard of Dungeon Saga Origins, or maybe you haven't, but I'm going to tell you five reasons why I think that you and your friends or family should try our latest game. Reason one, it's fast to set up. Getting the game to the table fast can be the difference between deciding to play something or not on your game's night. And especially being able to hold younger adventurers' attention while you consult the rules, set up a huge board, and sort through all of the cards and tokens can be a real barrier to entry. We know just how this feels, and with Dungeon Saga Origins, setup is super fast. Pick the adventure you're going to play, either from the quest book or using our online digital overload. More on that later. This will tell you which boards you need. Each of the three boards in the box are clearly marked A, B and C, with a side 1 and a side 2. Now take your player's character's models and place them in the starting locations as indicated. Take the tokens shown on the starting room and place them on the board. These will generally be doors to rooms to explore or rubble and furniture blocking off your path. At this point you can also place any enemy models that you can see. Lastly, separate out the cards into an exploration deck, place the monster cards to one side until you need them, and give each player the hero card for the character that they're playing, along with their feet card turned to the side that they wish to use. Place the token at the start of their health track, and you're pretty much ready to go. The player controlling Dano the Wizard will need to select some spell cards, and if you're playing with our automated dungeon overload so that you can play solo or as a team, you'll need to place the AI overload cards where you can see them. In under 5 minutes, you're up and running and ready to start exploring, battle and start your legendary quest. Reason 2. It's quick to learn how to play. Some dungeon crawlers, as well as other board games, can be quite rules heavy, as they try to simulate every tiny minutia of what might happen. In Dungeon Saga Origins, we've captured the action, the excitement and the storytelling of a fantasy dungeon crawler and made it easier to learn and faster to play for both new and younger players, without losing any of the decision-making depth that captures more experienced gamers. With hero and monster stat cards that are very clear to understand, a combat mechanic that even the newest of board gamers will manage, and thrilling adventures that carry over from quest to quest. Not only that, but the story continues through further expansions, such as our first new adventure, Glimmer of Greed, which adds longevity to your gaming experience. We've included ways to customise your game and make it easier for younger or newer players or harder for those wanting more of a challenge. Just because it's quick to learn how to play doesn't mean there isn't a challenge inside this quest. Reason 3. You can play solo, cooperatively or against a dungeon overload. We know that everyone likes to play their games in a way that suits their free time, their player group and their mood. Well Dungeon Saga Origins ticks all of these boxes. If you want to play it like a traditional role-playing dungeon crawling experience, then you can play with up to five players, with four of you playing the roles of the way intrepid heroes, and one of you taking on the mantle of the evil dungeon overlord, responsible for revealing the dungeon as our heroes explore it, controlling the dungeon's many monsters, interrupting the adventurer's best laid plans, and setting the scene for players involved. Of course, you may have a smaller group, and maybe you want to work together to take on the perils of our dungeon. Well, fear not, we've also got you covered. Inside the box you'll find our automated AI overload cards, which allow the dungeon, its monsters, and the overlord's interrupts to be controlled by behaviour cards, which, depending upon the monster's location and the overlord's mood, will guide you through just what you need to do in any situation. Because of this automated overload system, then not only can you play as a co-op team, but you can also play the game solo. Now the only thing that the game can't do for you is secretively reveal the dungeon one room at a time the way a human overlord player would. You'd have to look at the quest book and then try to only look at the room you're in and try not to spoil the surprises. Well we've thought about that too and that's why we also have our online digital overload. This allows you to have the flavour text of the quest read out to you and then lets you know only what you need to know to set up the dungeon and the initial room. As you explore the dungeon, you can open doors on the digital overload and reveal each room at a time. You want to know if there's a secret door in the room when you explore? Well, the digital overload will tell you that too. We want everyone to be able to play our Dungeon Saga Origins game, and we think we've covered all of the bases. Reason 4. Play out your adventure in manageable chunks. Some players will be settling down for a long gaming night with snacks and drinks, whilst others will be wanting to play something a little shorter to get a quest played 
before our younger adventurers need to head off to their bunks. Well, in Dungeon Saga Origins, our quests are set up in manageable sizes so that you can either play through a few quests in your evening, spending your discovered gold on new equipment, trading with your fellow adventurers, and equipping your legendary gear between quests before then carrying on your story. Or you can just pick any quest as a one-off game and we'll give you a recommendation of some starting upgrades and gold just to give you the sense that this isn't a one-off adventure. It's your game, so you play it how it suits you and your army of adventurers. Reason 5. It's perfect as your first dungeon crawler or as a lighter game with your experienced party. Just because something is designed to be accessible to everyone doesn't mean that there isn't depth, strategy, decisions to make, or stories to be told. This can be played as a fantasy storytelling experience with your family who are coming to dungeon crawlers for the first time, or it can be played as a social gaming experience, maybe with your role-playing group who maybe can't all make it together for your next role-play session. Maybe you want to play out a longer adventure, but you don't want to be having to constantly look up rules which get in the way of you all having fun. We wanted to create a game that we could both play with our families as well as our friends, and we know that Dungeon Saga Origins fits into that slot perfectly. So what are you waiting for? It's time to introduce your family adventurers to our family of adventurers. Pick up Dungeon Saga Origins now and set off on your path to where legends are made.